relationship is called as one to one relationship one to one relationship one to one relationship so what exactly is one to one relationship is that an entity is associated with at most one entity it is for example you can say one to one relationship like this you can denote it like this this is representing an entity a this is representing an entity b and this is representing the relationship between them the relationship is r like this okay so this relationship is one to one in an one to one relationship an entity an entity in a is associated with is associated with at most at most one entity in b at most one entity in b an entity and an entity in b and an entity in b is associated with at most one entity in a is associated with at most one entity in a okay for example if we have the following relationship the relationship is like this every department every department should have a manager should have a manager and only one manager manages a department and only one employee only one employee manages a department manages a department right so uh, managers are also employees so you can denote it like this this is representing the first set which is the employee this is representing the second set which is uh, you know this is representing the relationship which is here manages and this is representing the departments okay so we have the employees which are e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 e6 and e7 I assume these are the employees we have the departments like d1 d2 d3 d4 and d5 these are the departments okay now you can see they are saying that every department should have a manager but only one employee manages a department and when i am saying one to one relationship that means an entity in a is associated with at most one entity in b the specific word is at most at most means maximum it should be one but it it can be less than one okay so here you can see employee assuming that employee e1 manages the department d1 employee e2 manages the department d3 employee e3 manages the department d2 employee e5 manages the department d5 and employee e7 manages the department d4 now you can see here in this case every department should have a manager so every department is having one single manager and only one employee manages a department that means there are not more than one employees which are managing this particular department and here these things are representing the relationship and the relationship is manages entities are employee and department entities are employee and department right so here you can see uh, what is the cardinality of employee cardinality of employee is 1 what is the participation of employee participation of employee is zero cardinality is what is the maximum number of relationship an entity can participate and participation is what is the minimum number of relationship an entity can participate if you take the example of e1 e2 e3 e5 and e7 they are participating in maximum one relationship only if you discuss about the relation which is e4 uh, the entity which is e4 and e6 they are not participating in any relationship therefore the minimum cardin participation is zero and maximum cardinality is one right or you can say minimum cardinality is zero and maximum cardinality is one in the same way if we discuss about the department what is the cardinality of department cardinality of department is one because 
because every department should have an employee and only one employee manages the department so at maximum the department is participating in one relationship in the same way what is the participation of department participation of department is also one cardinality is also one and participation the same way that is also one now this relation can also we can also represent this relationship in uh, in, in the min max form representation which i have already told you so let me write it this way here we had this two relationships so number one we had an employee we had managers and we had department now for this employee the cardinality of employee was 1 the participation of employee was 0 for department the cardinality of department was 1 and the participation of department was 1 and this manages a relationship the degree of this relationship is 2 degree is 2 okay now again i told you that we had three three kinds of representation number 1 is the cardinality ratio representation cardinality ratio representation number 2 is the single line double line representation single line double line representation and number 3 is the min max representation min max representation so let me draw for all of them all all three of them so this is employee this is department this is employee this is department this is employee and this is department okay so this is representing employee department employee department employee and department and this is representing the relationship between them okay so first is the cardinality ratio representation so what is the cardinality of employee what is the cardinality of employee cardinality of employee is 1 and what is the cardinality of department that is also 1 so you will be writing this here and you will be writing this here so it is 1 1 so it is 1 is to 1 next the single line double line representation this deals with the participation what is the participation of employee that is 0 and what is the participation of department that is 1 so because the participation of department is 1 therefore department is having total participation so you can give double lines here and because the participation of employee is 0 so uh, employee is not having total participation and the next one is a min max representation that is what is the minimum cardinality and what is the maximum cardinality so minimum cardinality of employee is 0 and maximum is 1 minimum cardinality of department is 1 and maximum is 1 so it is called as the min max representation so this is representing the min max representation okay just Now let us let us look at the next type of relationship that is the many to uh, many relationship. 